So Solana is sitting at uh, $71, 71.89, you can say almost $72. And it did drop towards 67, as you can see, a clean $67 drop. Overall, the market is getting more and more bearish. Um, I'm not expecting Solana to get bullish. It, of course, went and broke my resistance with the bonk event. But all of that is an event that no one saw coming. No one thought they will add bonk to Solana's mobile phone. Then there will be a sell-off of mobile phone. And it will become one whole big event around Solana. And everything would be about Solana. And, of course, it went out and it broke. So that was a news. News can always have an impact. And I have mentioned in my videos that unless there is a news that you know comes out and makes things bullish the market is not going to get um, anything else apart from being bearish solana my expectations are still that the 75 dollars is a resistance for it the other parts they don't make sense i mean they they, they have, solana has formed other resistances as well like there's another one at 77 but i would stick to its old resistance of 75 that is a good one but it can go and touch it so if you're trying to put somewhere um, your resistance somewhere i would put it at 77 based on the new um, dynamics that solana has created my expectations from the market are still towards downward trend uh, the market is throwing in some fake news not fake news they're throwing in some news to um, keep you bullish like i've shared that uh, I have this telegram so i have shared this commercial of bitcoin etf they're throwing that they have thrown so many other bullish news out there all these work as traps um, whenever i have seen that a lot of good news is coming out in a bearish market it's always a bull trap what they are trying to do is that they are trying to make you buy higher so they could have an exit if you're not buying and they're selling it's only going to drop but if you are buying, it's always going to have this kind of impact. So, for example, this sold here, right? It came all the way down to a 67. Now you're buying. It went up again. And here somewhere, they will start selling on you again. So it will go down again. And those who have hopium, they will continue to buy in a hope that it's actually going to go up. So please do watch out for that. You know your resistance. You know where we are looking for. We are looking for a target towards $57. Cent, $57. As the first landing point solana can actually go there after that we will evaluate if it can go further down but that is where i'm looking at uh, as my first drop